Hi everybody, my name is Ember Strife and I'm really excited because this is my first video. Uh, it's part one of my Dead Island walkthrough. Uh, the goal of this walkthrough is to do all the quests, to get all the collectibles, uh, and show you how to do them in what I hope is the most efficient way possible. Uh, for this I'll be playing Xion. Uh, there hasn't been too many walkthroughs that I've seen that use Shein. A lot, a lot of people use Perna because she's uh, she's very versatile, uh, or Sambi because he has a lot of health and a lot of health regeneration, and he's pretty powerful. So, um, so a lot of them use those two characters. And there's some that use Logan. I haven't seen a whole lot, but I think I've only seen one other walkthrough with Shein. Uh, so really want to get more of her out there. I think she's awesome. She's my favorite character. Uh, so we'll get to get to see a lot of her. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Chiefs. My father was a very great man. Select. I've already played the prologue, but I'm going to play the prologue again. It's always nice to uh, for me to have that little bit of extra money, the little extra items uh, to just get, get a head start. A lot of people don't bother with it because... I mean, it's kind of boring. Not a, not a lot happens in the prologue. It basically just introduces you to the game. But I like the money. So as you can see, very, very hungover, disoriented. And here we go. Uh, there's not a lot to look at in the in the room. You just want to go in the bathroom and get this med kit. Med kits, especially on Xion, are very useful. I always keep uh, uh, when you get into the game. I keep about ten, but for these early stages, uh, you don't have to have uh, you don't have to have that many. Uh, these are this is the couple from the trailer. Uh, you can see the, the door is actually busted, but there's there's nothing over there at the window where the daughter fell out. So that's just, that's just kind of cool. I mean, if uh, if you watch the trailer, uh, you get to see that. You get to see the room that it all started in. Uh, so f basically, for this video, I'm just going to be looting everything. <laughs> so I'm I'm going to try to to talk and not make it too boring. Uh, probably later in the game, uh, where there's a lot of looting that has to be done, because I will get everything. <laughs> I'm such a fiend for all these suitcases and stuff. I have to get everything. Uh, but I'll edit that out. I'll, I'll either speed it up or do some cuts or something. That way you guys don't have to sit through me looting everything in the game. So yeah. <clears throat> well. Okay. Finally got that. This is the um, door breaking mini game. You just pull your mouse back and wait till it gets in the middle. Uh, well, I'm totally failing at it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Usually, I can get it in in three times, even if I if I mess up like I just did. Then, if I'm a complete retard at it, it'll take me four. <laughs> of course, I'm pretty sure that's the max number of times that you can hit the door and it break open. I mean you can miss it every single time and it'll break open in four. Alright, so here's a security door we need to go through but some incredibly smart person has blocked it and we can't, we can't get out that way. So we're just gonna loot some more suitcases. Anything will help. I'm not really sure at this point. Uh, how we know to loot everybody's stuff because I mean I'm assuming that the intro uh, for the game it takes place maybe the night before the game starts so I'm not really sure why how we know it's a zombie apocalypse already and we're looting through people's stuff <laughs> Still look half asleep, still look hungover. We're just gonna enjoy the view and ignore those people screaming. Wee! <laughs> I 
Uh, I will warn you right now uh, that I do cuss a lot, uh, but the the gang cusses probably more than me. I don't know. We'll we'll see when we start killing zombies. See how much I cuss, cause I just kind of when I panic, I don't I don't watch my language at all. Uh, warning number two, I guess, is that I have a mechanical keyboard, and as you've probably been able to tell already, you can hear my keystrokes uh, all the time. But uh, it's just kind of tough because I love my mechanical keyboard, and I'm not getting one that has the the soft key sounds anymore. <laughs> all right, now that we've looted everything, we're gonna go down in this elevator hatch. Which looks, I mean, it looks really safe. I mean, come on, the, <laughs> there's sparks everywhere and there's fire up there. This is gonna go really well. Yep. Oh, this gives me vertigo every time. I don't know, you'll just get a little bit dizzy because we're going so far down. Oh, and we hit the bottom. And miraculously, we don't die somehow. I don't know, I think in real life, if you went down those many flights, you would die. So yeah, we're just gonna trust Mr. Random Voice that comes out of nowhere. We have no idea who he is, but we're just gonna trust him anyways. I mean, he can be he can be luring us out into the open to get the zombies away from him or something. But no, we're just gonna do what he says, cause cause we don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Alright, just a few more suitcases, I promise. <laughs> I don't think there's so many that I have to I have to cut out from the prologue. Because, I mean, basically, this is all the prologue is. Loot a million suitcases. <laughs> Dead Island is a luggage inspection simulator. <laughs> more than it is a zombie survival game. That's just lovely. They don't have any money for me though. I like my money. Go down here and get some more. Run, 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 run away. Run away from the zombies. Come on. Come on. Who wants some? Who wants some? Can't get me. <laughs> that one on the left just falls over the suitcase. Zombies don't have a lot of coordination. Yep. Just when you think you're safe, you get punched in the face by a zombie. I don't know why my game likes to skip that movie. Basically, um, you go through some disoriented state where they don't know if since you've been bitten if you're gonna turn. The doctor is getting really worried and he wants he wants to kill you. Uh, but Sinamoy, the lifeguard, he he convinces them not to. So yay. <laughs> I don't know why my game does that. It starts. You saw it. It starts it starts to play it and then it, it just cuts off or something. And now we're on this lovely loading screen. I will be cutting most of the Oh we get the movie, I'll be quiet. Now we only got the end of it, where he decides to not kill us because we finally nodded our head. Uh, but uh, like I said, I'll, I'll probably be editing out a lot of the loading screens. So, uh, this is the doctor. His name's Jack. <laughs> A doctor named Jack on an island. Hmm, what does that sound like? So yeah, you get your first excerpt right as you come off the bed in that little corner by the box. Oh, 
We owe him our life. All right, so let's go say it's in a way. A little bit. I'm a little bit nuts. No. No weapon. Probably need one, right? So, there's a paddle right here. Let's get that. Let's go save Cinemoy. Oh my god. That's a lot of zombies. What's that one? Four? Four on? Oh! And one on me. That probably hurt my face. Alright, this is a little mini event. You just hit left and right mouse button, jump kick all the other zombies and kill them. Get off! This guy! He's my friend! Leave him alone! Did we get... No, oh, no. No, we didn't... We didn't get them all. <laughs> Alright. We got them all. Teamwork. Oh, his tattoos are badass. Never turn your back. Save my life twice in one day. And we're on Act 1. Was gonna get us off the island and we lost the signal. Lucky us. Level up! So you just hit you. Uh, spend some points. Uh, Fury is for your, your rage ability. Combat is just regular, regular combat abilities that help you kill zombies on a regular basis and survival has, uh, has a lot of health health talents. It also has lockpicking, which uh, especially if you're playing by yourself, you really need to get. Uh, some people uh, get frustrated with it because you spend all these points to get pick lock and then a level 3 chest will have absolutely nothing in it and it's kind of frustrating. But but really, uh, I get some of my best weapons from lock chest or any kind of chest, so I'm definitely gonna get that. Uh, especially if I play solo. I might play uh, co-op with a friend, um, but uh, until we figure all that out, I'll be playing this solo. Name's John Cinnamon. I'm the life guy here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were assistance or whatever this is. I didn't believe it. And I found you. I saw the body glass. You got no symptoms, but... Typical zombie <laughs> mechanics. Magically immune. He's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I have to ask. I can't do this without you. Will you help me? I'll help you, man. Even though you give me bloody pieces I'll of paper. I can do. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Of course we do. Of course you did. Alright. For those of you who don't know, Cinema is voiced by the awesome Stephen J. Bloom? Blum? I'm not sure how you say his last name, but he is one of my favorite voice actors. He also played uh, Spike in Cowboy Bebop, and that's one of my favorite animes ever. Steven also has a quest for us. Sure. 
Ottawa. Yes. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Who's I mean now? Where the hell else am I gonna go? Right. So I will be your errand person and do it for you. <laughs> Alright, that concludes the uh prologue video. Uh, not a lot happens, uh, so this video is kind of boring, but I'll promise more action and excitement in the next video where we'll kill more zombies. Uh, hope you like the series, guys, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing the rest of it. See you next time. Bye!